hello everyone welcome back in cool it help and in this video tutorial session we will learn pi dev installation inside the eclipse i'm going to install this on eclipse oxygen 3.0 a latest version of eclipse and here's the formal definition of the pi dev pi dev actually is a python ide plugin for the eclipse and with the help of this you will get a, a good environment for the development of a python jython and iron python project in your very favorite eclipse ide and right here i have noted down the prerequisite so you must have python installed on your machine for this example i am using python 3 and uh, we are going to use eclipse oxygen 3 and then we need a pydev plugin to download and guys uh, i will explain the step three there uh, the setup is the important step please don't skip that one so we will start with the first step let's get started in the first step we have to download a fresh version of python on windows 10 this is the download link and you will get this link from the description of this tutorial so just get that link and open your favorite browser paste it in the address bar and you will be landed on the official uh, python download page so right here this is the link of uh, the python so we have to click on uh, this button once and downloading will be started don't confuse yourself and the same uh, thing is uh, there on the home page as well the yellow button will download the same thing as well and we have just clicked on and you can see on the left hand side python 3.8.3 exe is downloading so it will take time i have already downloaded and placed in a separate folder and uh, now we will see the installation so simply you have to just double click on this to execute this and uh, you will see the very first window installation 3.8.3 and uh, the right here you can see the path of the installation folder you can note down it this will help you for further set up uh, the PyDev plugin in the Eclipse. So we will proceed with the installation. This will take some time on your Windows machine to install completely. So we have to wait for that. So I just skipped some uh, that step and finally you will see the message after the installation is successful, setup was successful, message appeared to me. And now there's a online tutorial links and documentations also there if you are a fresher so you can proceed uh, with that so we are uh, completed our first step now we will proceed with the step 2 in which we will download the Eclipse oxygen 3.0 so if you guys have already Eclipse downloaded so you can skip the step number 2 and you can directly proceed with the step 3 okay so get the download link from the description and open in your favorite browser and you will see this page eclipse download page for the three a packages so we are selecting the eclipse id for java ee developers and uh, if you guys have a 32 bit system so proceed with the 32 bit if you have 64 bit so just click on it and uh, this page will appear so here is the actual download button this orange button we have to click once here we go and uh, finally this message will appear and uh, the eclipse uh, zip will start downloading on the left hand side the size is big 334 mb for easiness i have already downloaded the same package and placed in the separate folder now we have to extract the eclipse and we will set up the eclipse first so going to unzip this eclipse file okay this way eclipse is extracted now we will go inside this eclipse folder and uh, this is the file to launch now eclipse is loading so in the step 2 uh, we have completed the down downloading of uh, the eclipse oxygen 3 the latest version and we will proceed with the step 3 now in which we will download the pydev plugin and we will see the setup this is the most important step please don't skip this step 
okay finally the uh, eclipse is loaded now asking for the workspace so i have created a separate folder for the workspace and selected uh, at this box and finally click on the launch and here we are the eclipse is loaded so we have uh, done the eclipse and now we have to download the pydev plugin and we will see the setup process so what we have to do go to the help and now go here eclipse marketplace click once and you will see uh, this window so right here you can search anything but we are working with the pydev so i will uh, search like this way so need to type pydev and go to the right side click on this go button and then you will see uh, this plugin will appear pydev this is the in purple color and uh, pydev the description is uh, given here and uh, this is a small button for the installation just click once so this will show you these information and uh, leave both boxes checked and click on the confirm okay then it will show you the license uh, pages if you want to read you can uh, go through it in the bottom we have to check this radio button then click on the finish and you will see the on the right hand side installation is is in progress for the pi dev plugin once this will be 100% we will uh, check by creating a project in uh, the eclipse so we have to wait for the completion of this installation it's done and uh, it will ask you for the restart and this is going to restart your eclipse ide and your system will not be restarted so don't worry just click on this restart now button here the eclipse start reloading okay it's ready click on the launch and guys uh, the pydev plugin is uh, downloaded and uh, we need the further setup for that plugin so go to the window menu item then go to the preferences and this preferences window will appear and you can see the list on the left hand side so here we are looking for the pydev so just click on it and expand this tree in this tree we have to go to the interpreters so in this interpreter you can see we have a three kind of language support python jython and iron python so we have to set the interpreter for the python because we are going to do it for the python only right now so click on it and on the right hand side you will see this uh, window so right here we have to uh, give the path of the installed python exe so in the first step we have installed our python exe if you know the path so you can proceed with the first button if you don't know the path so there's a choice for the automatic detection so click on this third button config first in path once you click it will automatically search and detect the installed python from your uh, system in c drive you can see it has detect detected the python and the path is appearing like this okay now simply we have to go on the bottom and on the right hand side click on the apply so it will do its primary setting and we have to wait for few seconds more it's the completed and now we are good to go and click on this apply and close button in the back end some uh, progress is going on J okay it's done now uh, the preferences and interpreter setting is done now we are good to go to proceed with the last step and here we will create one python project example and we will run a program to check the pydev installation is successful or not so this is our fourth step it's very simple and uh, then 
go to the file menu go to the new and uh, click on the other and right here you will see the PyDev and expand the tree and you will see the many options so you have to select PyDev project click next on this project window you have to give the name of your project so I'm going to create my first Python project first Python project so I have given such a name and uh, right here so the language we are going to uh, use the python and uh, the version is grammar version is 3.8 if you want to work with the different grammars you can choose and then you can proceed click on the finish and you will see a project setup on the left hand side in this package explorer and then do the right click and select the source folder because we are going to create the uh, python class file to run some uh, now do the new and uh, go to the pydev module click once and this window will appear so here you can give the name of your python program or uh, you can see python file so my first program is first python program now click finish and you will see a file is created with the .py extension okay it will ask you for the template select the empty click ok or you can proceed with the other one as well this is on your choice okay so the empty file is created now I will uh, write some uh, small code uh, to check the working of the PyDev and the interpreter so defining the function to add the two numbers and uh, this will return the sum of uh, two numbers a and b and then finally in the with a single statement we will call this method and we will print a sum of these two numbers guys don't confuse if uh, you have using the grammar version uh, uh, less than three then uh, the syntax will be different but we are using uh, the grammar version uh, the latest grammar version that was appeared in the the timer project setup so writing this way so printing trying to print the sum of two numbers and the program is ready now I will run this do a right click click run as Python program okay here we go now we got the sum of these two numbers and uh, the setup is working perfectly fine and uh, more clearly and I have placed one equal sign and now we can see the sum of 1 and 2 is 3 and uh, I found this is working fine so guys congratulations your PY dev setup in the Eclipse is working perfectly fine I hope you guys found this tutorial useful please like this tutorial and please subscribe my channel or oh, guys you can press the bell icon so you will get the latest video updates on time if you guys have any doubts, so please comment. I will try my best to reply as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.